Would you like a shopping list of the best foods to prevent and repair nerve damage? According to research, nerve damage, also known as neuropathy, eventually affects nearly 50% of adults with diabetes during their lifetime, causing pain, numbness, foot ulcers, and amputation in some cases. It can also lead to blindness, digestive dysfunction, urinary problems, and increase your risk for heart attack and stroke. But it doesn't have to be that way. Whether you have nerve damage or not, you're going to want to watch this because everyone is susceptible. The foods on this list can help you tap into your body's natural healing abilities. You'll also learn how to keep yourself safe with fruit, special advice for coffee and tea drinkers, and tips to enhance nutrient absorption from foods that you already eat. I'll give you two free gifts as well to help you on your journey, so stick around for that too. Okay. Let's go. Think of your nerves like internet cables, sending packets of data, complex electrical signals from one place to another. Your brain communicates with different parts of your body, allowing you to sense your environment, to coordinate movements, identify pain that needs attention, and keep your lungs breathing. But high blood sugar damages these nerves. It's like they go rusty over time. So how can we combat this? Choosing foods that keep blood sugar in a healthy range is the first step to prevent any damage from getting worse. Beyond that, at number nine, we have zucchini. Zucchini is an unsung hero for combating nerve damage. It's rich in potassium and magnesium, which support nerve transmission and alleviate overactive nerves, as well as lutein, zeaxanthin, beta carotene, and vitamin B6, which all support the creation of neurotransmitters and nerve health maintenance. Magnesium is particularly important because people often become deficient with age, especially if you drink excessive alcohol, have poorly controlled blood sugar, or take medications such as diuretics, proton pump inhibitors, and certain antibiotics. Beyond nerve repair, magnesium is also vital for healthy muscle function, improving your body's ability to turn blood glucose into usable energy, thus combating high blood sugar. We've got more magnesium superstars coming up, but first, zucchini has another advantage. It's an excellent diabetic-friendly alternative to high-carb foods like pasta, which spike blood sugar levels and cause gut damage associated with refined grains. Other dishes like zucchini fritters or incorporating zucchini into salads, stir fries, and casseroles are a great way to boost your intake. Next, berries and grapes contain a secret weapon when it comes to nerve damage. Now, it's important to limit your fruit intake due to the natural sugar in fruit. Ideally, it's good to monitor your blood sugar after eating different fruits to see how your blood sugar responds. This is a good rule for any food, really, so you can understand how your unique body responds to different foods. That said, berries and grapes are exceptional choices. Why? partly because of Reservatrol. Reservatrol is an antioxidant found in the skin of grapes and berries, and it's particularly good at repairing damaged nerves. Researchers believe that Reservatrol increases axon numbers, activating growth signals in the spinal cord and thus enhancing nerve regeneration. One study found that within just 10 days, Reservatrol significantly improved motor function in sciatic nerve crush injury. But that's not all. Berries are ideal for diabetics due to their low sugar content compared to other fruits. Plus, berries and grapes are all around nutritional powerhouses packed with potent compounds like anthocyanins, polyphenols, and elagic acid, the fascinating protective compound which comes from the berry's evolution to repel bugs and repair any damage. Some of the best berries include raspberries, cranberries, strawberries, and blackberries. Looking at fruit in general, even though moderating sugar intake is important, eating a variety of fruit is going to help you get on a broad spectrum of antioxidants, vitamins, and minerals, each offering unique benefits. Oranges, kiwis, and pomegranates, black plums, cherries, and guavas, they all have unique properties that may improve diabetes and control nerve health. 
If you enjoy bananas, go for the greener, less ripe ones as they contain significantly less sugar. And soon we'll discuss other foods that can help blunt the blood sugar spike from fruit. But first, spices are the single most antioxidant dense foods we have and have been used throughout history for their healing properties. Turmeric contains the active compound curcumin, which has potent anti-inflammatory properties. A 2020 study in the scientific journal Antioxidants found that curcumin significantly improved neuropathic pain, nerve regeneration, and motor function enhancement. Chili peppers contain capsaicin, which is used in over-the-counter topical creams for nerve pain, and likewise has been shown to reduce pain both topically and when eaten. And ginger is a broad inflammation and immunity superstar, which has also been shown to reduce pain from nerve damage. Some doctors even recommend ginger foot soaks to patients suffering painful neuropathy. Simply soak an inch of fresh peeled ginger in boiling water for three minutes, allow it to cool to a comfortable temperature, and then soak the hands or feet in for five to 10 minutes. Other research suggests that ginkgo, bilboa, saffron, rosemary, and sage, as well as less common ones like nigella stabia, acorus calmalis, and alstonia scolaris may combat various types of neuropathic pain. Cinnamon may help to slow the progression of nerve damage, while Mamordica chantaria, better known as bitter gourd, may block calcium channels on the neuronal cell membrane. This can lead to decreased excitability and in turn reduced pain. When consumed in supplemental doses, some of these compounds might interact with medications or have side effects, so eating them as part of a balanced diet is ideal. At number six, strategically incorporating nuts and seeds can be a good move if not only for reducing diabetic nerve damage, but more broadly improving blood sugar management. It's a great idea to eat nuts and seeds and other healthy fats we'll discuss next before eating fruit. Healthy fats dull the rapid blood sugar spike that comes with eating fruits. Furthermore, omega-3 fatty acids abundant in walnuts, flax seeds, and chia seeds play a strong anti-inflammatory role for nerves. While Brazil nuts, almonds, and pumpkin seeds contain vitamins and minerals that support nerve function. It's best to buy flax seeds whole and grind them at home as our bodies have trouble breaking down the hard shell. Then store the ground flax in the refrigerator to prevent oxidation. It's well worth the effort because flax seeds are incredibly nutritious. They contain 80 times more lignin and other plants, an incredibly potent antioxidant linked to reduced osteoporosis, heart disease, and protecting cells from damage associated with cancer. Chia seeds, on the other hand, can be eaten whole, but it's best to soak them in water first, which enhances their digestibility and nutrient absorption. Combine these with our next food for the ultimate breakfast. But first, if you're finding this useful, please click the like button, click subscribe and turn notifications on to see our new videos as they're released. At number five, avocados are your creamy green ally for managing nerve damage and diabetes. For starters, they're rich in B vitamins, particularly B6, which is essential for nerve health. B6 helps in the repair and maintenance of neurons. Moreover, avocados are loaded with healthy monounsaturated fats, which play a crucial role in maintaining steady blood sugar levels. But that's not all. These fats also aid in the absorption of fat-soluble vitamins and antioxidants from other foods. Studies show that when avocados are eaten with tomatoes or carrots, they increase your body's ability to absorb lycopene from tomatoes and beta-carotene from carrots. Lycopene is a potent antioxidant crucial for preventing age-related heart decline, while beta-carotene converts to vitamin A in the body, supporting your eyes, immune function, and skin health. This synergistic effect means that adding avocados to your salad or sandwich doesn't just add flavor, it multiplies the amount of nutrients your body can absorb. Avocado has something unexpected in common with our next two foods, L-carnitine. L-carnitine aids in the transport of fatty acids into mitochondria for energy production. 
In nerve cells, which require significant amounts of energy, getting enough L-carnitine is vital. Additionally, L-carnitine has neuroprotective properties that protect nerve cells from damage caused by stress and toxins. Meat and animal products are the highest, but not the only source. Beef, for instance, packs a whopping 81 milligrams of L-carnitine per three ounce serving. That's leagues ahead of avocados, which only offer two milligrams per whole fruit. Pork isn't far behind beef with 24 milligrams per three ounce servings. Fish like cod has around five milligrams per three ounce serving and chicken breast is around the same. Some plant-based foods contain trace amounts, including pumpkin seeds, sunflower seeds, peanuts, beans, lentils, apricots, as well as our number three food. But before we get to that, we'd like to give you a free gift. Discover an entire world of diabetes fighting foods with our new book, 10 Incredible Foods That Reduce Blood Sugar. Plus you'll discover the real reason why type two diabetes, obesity, and heart disease are increasing at an alarming rate. And find out what really works when it comes to preventing these illnesses by watching our free diabetes fighting documentary. Plus get a free recipe book, Amazing Alternatives to Rice, Pasta, and Bread, which contains over 50 delicious and easy to prepare recipes that the whole family will love. These gifts are free and waiting for you to grab them in the description box below. Now back to our video. At number three, asparagus is very good for your nerves. It contains trace amounts of L-carnitine and is packed with other beneficial nutrients. Asparagus is a good source of folate, which is essential for nerve cells. It's crucial during pregnancy to prevent neural tube defects on the developing baby, which is why many women take the synthetic version, folic acid. Asparagus also contains vitamin K, which strengthens the myelin sheath, the protective coating around nerves. Stepping into the spotlight at number two, leafy greens, especially kale, spinach, collard greens, mustard greens, and Swiss chard are a daily staple for nerve health. They're brimming with vitamins, minerals, and fiber, all crucial to nerve function. Enjoy an orange after eating your leafy greens to increase the absorption of non-heme iron, especially if you drink tea or coffee or eat cheese at the same time as these can block the absorption. At number one, broccoli is a powerhouse when it comes to vitamins B9 and B6. Plus, the chromium in broccoli enhances insulin action, keeping blood sugar in check. What's more, broccoli is teeming with antioxidants like vitamin C and flavonoids, which defend against oxidative stress. Broccoli is also rich in alpha-lipoic acid, which has been shown to help ease the symptoms of diabetic neuropathy. And if you've watched any of our other videos, you'll know about sulforaphane, the chop and wait technique for broccoli to increase sulforaphane or to eat broccoli raw. And let's not forget about the rest of the cruciferous crew. Brussels sprouts, cabbage, kale, cauliflower for your cauliflower rice, bok choy, and arugula all are sharing most of broccoli's nutrients and benefits while also providing a few of their own. These foods can be powerful in protecting and repairing your nerves, but as always, the bigger focus is keeping blood sugar in a healthy range. Exercise and broader lifestyle factors are key too. Watch our video on 10 ways to reduce blood sugar naturally in one week for more on that. We'll leave a link in the description below or click the image on the screen. If you found this useful, please click the like button to help spread word and subscribe to stay up to date with new Diabetics Talk videos.